Hi, this is Becky Oberg from Recovering from Mental Illness, and today I'm going to talk about humor as a coping skill. I went to the state hospital system for 13 months, four of which were at a hospital in Richmond, Indiana. There is nothing in Richmond, Indiana except an RV salesman and a college and the state hospital. I'm from Indianapolis. This was not a good change. And the staff were sometimes abusive. I don't really want to go into detail about how, but suffice to say it was not a fun experience. So how did I get through it? Well, I looked for the humor in situations. And that's the secret to getting through a lot of situations. You've got to look for the humor. You've got to have a sense of humor or you're just not going to make it. And there is a lot of stuff that is funny in this world. For example, staff at the state hospital put up a sign that said, if you fart in the day room, you will be marked for disrespecting staff and peers. Now, their control freak nature aside, it is kind of funny. Another funny thing was I uh, was drinking coffee in a styrofoam cup because they don't trust us with the ceramics. And the cup disintegrated in my hand, burning me. First degree burns. And they're treating my hand, and I looked at them, grinned, and said, does this mean I get to sue for several million dollars? They didn't think that was funny, but I did. And that's really what counts. Humor can be a valuable coping skill if it gets you through a situation. Now, there are times not to use humor, but you've got to be your own judge. You've got to do what works for you. Anyway, that's all I have to say on the subject. This is Becky Alberg from Recovering from Mental Illness, signing off.